Good morning. Had a little bit of a technical difficulty getting started this morning, but uh, anyway, hope everybody's doing well, uh, and uh, we can get started here. Maybe we'll get some people online. Hope everybody's doing good this beautiful uh, first Monday in July. Uh, good day so far. So um, anyway, we'll get started. Lord Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for your kindness, your mercy, your love, and your blessings. I pray, Lord God, that you bless our time together this morning. Thank you for this technology that we can gather as brothers and sisters in, in the Lord and just celebrate your goodness and your wisdom, God. We just thank you for all you do and be with us this time in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing well this morning. Um, have uh, hopefully some good encouragement for you here this morning. Um, I want to talk uh, about a couple different things, but uh, I want to talk about our ratio, okay? And our ratio that I want to talk about today is our ratio of positivity to negativity, okay? And I want you to be mindful, if you would. I challenge you today to be mindful of that ratio uh, as you go about your day and as we set the tone for our week, this being Monday morning, all right, of uh, what that's going to look like, all right? My ratio of positivity to negativity, all right? Now, I don't know about any of you, but sometimes I can get caught up at looking at a few things, and uh, it's real easy to become negative about stuff, all right? And at the end of the day, I catch myself thinking, man, I said, I was I was a little negative today, you know? And so um, that can set the whole tone for your day, for your week, and for your life if you're not careful, all right? So I wanted you to think about that. Be con conscious of your ratio, my ratio of positive things to negative things, to the things I put in that are positive to the versus the things that are negative, all right? Um, uh, some of you may know that Autumn and I used to help with Children's Church at a church that we used to go to, uh, did that for quite a few years. Um, one of the things that I always used to, to uh, tell our kids is, you know, it's interesting, I said, it's, if we put garbage into our hearts, garbage comes out, all right? Put garbage into our life, garbage comes out. And so um, be mindful today, again, of that ratio. Positivity to negativity, all right? I want to talk to you about one of my favorite stories in the Bible, and then I'm going to go to a couple different verses. Uh, the story of Job, okay? Now, I'll paraphrase real quick. Obviously, starts in Job 1. Uh, Job was a, an upright and a blameless man. Um, the, 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 it says the devil wandering the, to and fro from the earth came to, uh, to God and, and uh, God said, uh, have you ever considered my servant Job? Basically the gist of it is Job was blessed, all right? And the devil said, well, you know, why should Job not be upright and blameless? You've just always blessed everything that his hand touches. He's like, you know, let me, let me, uh, you know, bring some suffering against him and, and, uh, and let's see if he changes his tune. All right, so Job lost everything. Okay, long story short, he lost all of his, his oxen, his sheep, his camels, Worst of all, he lost all of his children, all right? The Bible says that they were in the, the same house. Uh, they were feasting and, uh, and at the oldest brother's house when suddenly a mighty wind swept in from the desert, struck the four corners. It collapsed on them and only a servant was able to escape to tell Job, all right? And Job, you know, fell to the ground. He lost everything, okay? Everything that was important to him. And he said, naked I came from my mother's womb and naked I shall return. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. May the name of the Lord be praised. And all of this Job chose, all right, and everything. He lost everything that was near and dear to his heart. Only he and his wife survived, but all their possessions of their children were all gone, all right? But it says in all of this, Job did not sin by charging God with wrongdoing. Guys, we have a lot of things that happen to us, and we say, God, why? Why is this happening? You know, why is this happening? I think about uh, Grace Church's own Sarah Weimer, and she was going through her bout with cancer, all right? She was always so upbeat and positive. And I remember even through that time, I'd... I'd have a day and I think, man, you know, this today just stinks. All right. Today just stinks. And then I think of Sarah. I was like, hey, she, she can have that attitude of, of I'm going to praise God anyway. I'm just going to continue to 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 spread his joy and his love and his encouragement. You know, and I thought that's that was a, a she helped hold me accountable. You know, I'd say, hey, wait a minute. My life is nothing compared to what she's going through. And so, you know, I, I should be able to praise God in, in, in the easiest of times. And so, you know, uh, those things can spread. Our positivity can spread from one person to the other. OK, and guys, Job, Job never cursed God. Job, you know, said, I came into the world with nothing. I'll leave with nothing. You know, may God's name be praised. All right. And you go through that story and, and Job, there's a, a lot of stuff there. But at the end, God, because of Job's faithfulness, blessed him uh, with twice of what he had before, including offspring. All right. Including children. So God was faithful because Job stayed the course. All right. 
Guys, we live in a tumultuous time in our world today. There's so many things that we could get negative about. All you have to do is open the news, social media, you know, get into a good discussion with people about uh, anything from the coronavirus to the things that are going on with civil unrest in our country as far as race and things, those things go. And it's really easy to get caught up in that and be mad. Why are people doing this? Why are people doing that? All right, but we have to remember that we control what's in our hearts. All right, that we control what we put into our mind and our heart. You know, uh, it says in Proverbs 23, 7, 23, 7, excuse me, for as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. All right. And I, I really believe that that uh, we can set the own course for for ourselves. The word in certain and uh, in, in the word, it says, all right, today I've set blessing and cursing before you choose blessing. Choose life, or I choose set death, and I choose life, set life in front of you. Choose life. I pray today that if you're watching this, that you choose life, all right? That if you're worried about your ratio, you say, hey, my ratio isn't good. I have a lot more negativity than I have positivity. I pray the day that that flips, okay? That uh, your positivity number becomes really large compared to the, in that ratio compared to your uh, negativity number, okay? Philippians 4, eight says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Start it this today, Monday, all right? Here at the 10 o'clock, our 10, 10 together, I, I challenge you to start that. Say, hey, I, I'm setting the tone for my day for the rest of the week. Maybe you already start out, you had a rough morning and you're here, you kind of have a little pause, a little break, and you're joining in this morning, all right? Now is the time to say, hey, this week is not going to be like last week. It's going to be better. Why? Because I'm going to, I'm, I'm focusing on God. I'm focusing on the good things that he's done. All right, guys, I, um, I don't like to get involved in, in too, too many things, uh, you know, too many discussions because sometimes, you know, if it has to do with politics or different things that's going on, it tends to get a little ugly. All right. And things, but I, I will say this much. All right. I strongly believe, actually, I believe with all my heart, we live in the greatest country in the world, all right? And yes, there may things be things going on right now that aren't perfect. I'm still, to, I would still hold tight to we're more blessed than most of the rest of the world living and waking up where we do every morning, okay? Um, there's so many things happening. Guys, I was telling my own kids yesterday, I said, look, I says, in some countries, they tell you when you can go get food, what food you're going to get, and how much of it. Um, you know, here in this country, our only limitation is if we just have enough money to buy it, we can go to the store whenever we'd like. We can go to buy whatever we'd like. We can, you know, do all those things. You know, just the simple things that we take for granted, all right, we're afforded by living in this great country, okay? Um, I want to read you the New Living Translation. It says, Dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true. It says fix your thoughts, all right? Not just think about it, but fix your thoughts. Fix your mind on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable, okay? And it's a good little checklist, all right? I'd, I'd say write this down even, you know? And, and if you find yourself say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm watching too much of this or I'm reading too much into this, go back to this verse. It says fix your thoughts on what is true, what is honorable, what is right, and what is pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise, all right? Guys, sometimes there's things that aren't worth giving our time to, all right? Because they don't benefit us physically, spiritually, all right? Emotionally, they don't benefit us. And if we focus on negativity, that's what we're going to get back, all right? And I think that's what this verse is pointing to, all right? That's what you train your thoughts to is think about these good things, all right? Think about the awesome thing that's God done, done for us, all right? I find myself in the morning swinging my legs over the edge of the bed say, God, thank you for another day. Thank you that I wake up where I wake up. I'm living a, a warm Warm home, cool right now, actually nice and cool inside. All right, I gotta thank you because we have food to eat. All right, so many times we go to the refrigerator, oh, there's nothing to eat here. There's tons of stuff, we just don't wanna make it. All right, but we're so blessed. All right, we have the opportunity to, to, uh, to go to work. All right, we have the opportunity to do things. And you know what, some of you may even be out of work right now, but you know what, God's got a plan. All right, God's got a plan. Use this time, all right, to get close to him and say, God, what do you have for me? Maybe it's to go back to that job has been temporarily put on hold. Maybe it's time for a new direction, but he'll guide and direct you through those those things, all right? Um, I just really feel that strongly, okay, about our, uh, our ratio today, all right? Our ratio of uh, 
of, of negativity, or excuse me, positivity to negativity, all right? I, I would challenge you, anytime that you get that negative thought, all right, find two positive things and say, okay, you know what, yes, this isn't exactly what I want to be doing right now, but thankfully I have the opportunity to do it. I'm breathing, and I'm well, and I'm also living in the greatest country in the world, okay? Today, just change our focus. Let's think about things that are true, things that are honorable and right, pure, lovely, admirable, all right? And choose to focus on these things. In fact, I say let's issue a seven-day challenge. All right, let's worry about our ratio positivity to negativity makes it that positivity number a big number the negativity a small number and let's see what happens next Monday when we get together. Okay, I guarantee you that our week will go a lot different if we choose to focus on the many blessings that have bestowed upon us. All right, I just hope everybody's well. Um, let's pray and, and we'll go uh, have a great week. Have a good Monday and uh, I pray that you all are blessed. God, thank you for this day, the opportunity to get together. I just thank you because you are good, you're kind, you're faithful. God, thank you for our freedoms, our liberties, Lord God, the things that you bestowed upon us. Lord, uh, as citizens of this great country, God, I pray that you just just help our country to turn our eyes towards you again, God, that you would bless us, that your hand would be on us, God, that you would lead the way, Lord God, as we move forward into the future, Lord, and that we would be blessed by you, God. Be with every person on here. I pray that you bless our households with your protection, your favor, your wisdom, your guidance, and your truth, God. I just thank you for all you do. Pray that you give us a great day in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, have a great day. Uh, enjoy, your, uh, enjoy your week, and I look forward to seeing you uh, next week. Thank you.